Hey, Mark Nelson. Have you ever wondered how you can get more engagement on your social media posts? It really isn't that hard. There's actually two, maybe three, depends how you count, count them, ways you can increase your engagement. Hey, if you're coming on live, before I get into this, if you're coming on live, tell me where you're coming from. Um, give me a high five emoji. If you're coming on the replay, do a hashtag replay and tell me where you're coming from. Just love to see it because I'm getting people from all over the world. Isn't that so cool? Hey, but how do you get more engagement? And this really isn't hard. And sometimes, I, you know, life gets in the way and I can't do it. But the first way is before you post, especially, and I do lives every day, before you do a live, go on and do a handshake with some people. And they call it, the, I've heard it's called the five minute handshake. I do it for probably about five minutes, maybe 10 sometimes, is I will go look at posts and I, I don't give a like, I'll try to give a heart, whatever they call it. <laughs> <laughs> the the I don't give a like. I try to give a heart like I really like what their comment is. But I try to make a comment, right? And, and I try to, because it's all about reciprocity. So I do this. I, I might answer a question if somebody's making a comment. I make a comment on their comment. And I'll go through this and I'll do this for five minutes. And I try to do it with the people that I engage with, but also with new people every day. Uh, because it, it's what it is. It's just really good practice. Now, the second way is that once you make a post, and especially live, go back. When people start commenting, and you know how lives work, that there more people see the replays than they do the actual live. Go back when people make a comment, is reply to them. And then ask a question in that reply. Because what you want to do is you want to start building up rapport, but you want to start building up those replies. So. I even go back like a week or two later on a live and, and I'll answer somebody, especially if I get a lot of engagement because I want that post to pop back up in the feed. Now, I know that Facebook changes their algorithm all the time, but here's what they want to see. They want to see engagement. So one, hey, Will, how are you doing? Good to see you. Glad you're on here. Will is a new friend from Sweden. I, I hope I'm saying, I think that's right. I think I got that down. Anyway, hey, Jacqueline Stroll, man, I think about you a lot. I don't know if you've got uh, any news back, but it's going to be fantastic news. Anyway, the uh, where was I? The Facebook algorithm. So if you're doing a live in, in, or any comment, and now I, I just did the uh, one the other day, and, and I had about 20 comments on, but I, I go back probably once or twice a day and I'll reply to somebody or I might ask somebody a question because what I want to do is I want to bring that post back up in the feed. And that's what uh, Facebook is looking for. They're, they're looking for engagement throughout. So two, before you make a live or a post, go on and comment and like and give people hearts and, and seriously, you know, do it out of your heart is to help them get their posts going up. And then what they do is come back and make yours go well. Now, it's the same thing about a group, right? And, and I'm starting a group calling um, Affiliate Marketing Success with Mark. If you'd like to get on, search it out. But what I do every day is I go in other people's groups and I make comments. I, I try to put a comment with, with some value in there. And if you don't think you have value, that's your stinking thinking because you do have value. You you have a thought. So give that thought out there to that group. Re reply to people that are asking questions and nobody's answered. And, and all of a sudden what happens, people in that group start noticing you and they want to come on your feed and they want to come into your group. So I hope that helps. Those are three great tips. One is do that five minute handshake. Two is go back and Recomment and post new things, it, it, you know, answers people's questions on your old posts. And three, if you're doing groups, go into groups that you are in and active in and leave value and give replies. So I hope that helps. Hey, here's what I got for you today. I have a great social media template for you. Seven great ideas on how you 
can get more action and how to properly post a uh, your content. Hey, Fred, uh, so if you would like that, give me a template down below, T-E-M-P-L-A-T-E. -E. If you've ever been on here, I spell those things. I am a good speller, but I think it's funny because it's uh, not all people spell right. Now, I'm a math teacher, so I don't spell right all the time. But if you would like that social media template, give me a template below and I'll shoot you a link. No opt-in. I'll just give it to you. Peace out. I love you all. You guys take care.